everybody. Welcome to math. We are going to start topic three with lesson three one, adding tens and ones on a hundreds chart. So I know you're very familiar with your hundreds charts from first grade, and we are going to refresh ourselves and make sure we can still use these to help us find the answers to two digit addition problems. So today we want to be able to add within 100 using place value strategies and properties of operations. I'm going to close this door. All right. How can you use a hundred chart to help you find 32 plus 43? And explain. We're going to write an equation to show our sum. Now, I hope, I'm not sure if you learned this in first grade, but it's really helpful if we start with the biggest add end, the greatest one. So what's greater, 32 or 43? 43 is greater. So if we start there, we don't have as far to go. So I'm going to find 43 on my hundreds chart. Here's our 40s. and start with 43. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a place value chart. We just have 10s and 1s. Don't have to do our hundreds place. So 32 is 3 10s and 2 1s. So I know that I need to move up 3 10s. 1 10, 2 10s, 3 10s, and I need to go over 2 1s, 1, 2, and that takes me to 75. So my equation could be, I'm going to put 43 first because we, oh, down here, 43 first because we started there. We went up 32 and ended up at 75. Now how could we use words to explain what we did? I'm going to write, I started with 43 because it's greater, and this is it's with an apostrophe because it means it is, then I went up, what do we go up? Three tens to 73 and two ones to 75. Go ahead and pause it if you need to, if you need more time with that. All right, so here's our friend in this green box who's going to show us exactly how to do this. Um, this is a great box if you're learning at home that's going to kind of explain the lesson for the day um, in a way that you don't have to have the video for. So it says you can add on a hundreds chart to find 54 plus 18. So she says start with 54 and we're going to add 18 move down one row to add 110, and then move ahead eight to add eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got to go down to the next row. Seven, eight. Okay, you can also do the ones first. You can start at 54 and add eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then go down 110. Either way, you get the same sum. All right, old Max says that to find 54 plus 18 on a hundreds chart, you can start at 54, move down two rows, and then move back two spaces. Do you agree? Think about what he's talking about. If you move down two rows, how much have you, got, have, how much have you added? We're going to use this hundreds chart to look at that. So if max starts at 54, all right, here we go. Max starts at 54, and he moves down two rows, doink, doink, to 74, and then moves back backwards two spaces. 
Would you agree that he did 54 plus 20? 10, 20. And then what are we doing when we go backwards? That's subtraction. Let's look at it. Let me do a different color, and we'll do it the way we normally would add. 54 plus 18. Let's go down 10 and over 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we ended up in the same place at 72. All right, so what Max has done is he has added 20 and gone backwards 2. Backwards 2 from 20 is 18. So that is okay. Max really knows his facts and really understands his place value. You explain how, why you think that this, that's okay. Go ahead and pause and come back when you're ready. Hit play when you're ready. Number one, add using the 100 chart. We're going to draw arrows on the chart if we need to. 17 plus 32. Now they didn't start with the greater add end. It'll be okay. They're going to get the same answer as we saw on the front. And they got 49. They went down 10, 20, 30, and over 2. All right, 28 plus 21. Let's start with that 28. Go down two tens, one, two, and over one. That one is also 49. That's kind of funny. Guys, please don't let this one break your heart. They have switched which side the equation or which side the expression is on. What's over here is the same as what's over here. It's okay if we flip them around. If it's important to you to change the order, as long as you copy it down correctly, you certainly may. Let's start at 20 and go down a 10 to 30. And then go over nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What did we get? 39. And then 18 plus eight. Starting at 18, and we're going up eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we ended up at 26. All right, not too bad. We can do this. So here, you've gotten a big hundreds chart, the whole thing, and you have these equations. Again, with 6 and 9 and 11, this is okay. You don't have to change the order. The answer can go on this side, too. That's fine. Write the digit that makes each equation true. So for this one, we're going to add something plus 83 and get to 90. So if we start here, how many more, how many moves do we need to make to get to 90? Okay, you can do that. Just move your fingers or move your pencil or draw a line and count them. For this one, 34, we're trying to get to 57. And they've told us that we're going to go two tens. So you know it's going to be 10, 20. How many ones do you have to move to get to 57? Okay. All right. I'm going to read these out loud. If you would like to work through the front before you listen to me read them, pause the video and just hit play whenever you're ready to hear the problems on the back. We're still using the 100 chart to solve our problems. Number 13, Sarah has 48 buttons. Luis has 32 buttons. How many buttons do they have in all? That's a combining problem. Number 14, it says Micah had 70 buttons. Then she found 19 more buttons. How many buttons does Micah have now? Number 15, write the steps that you take to add 43 and 39 on a hundreds chart. Now remember, that's very similar to what we had to do on the very front. We explained how we did it. Number 16, which has a sum of 35? Choose all that apply. That means you have to work all of them out to see which ones equal 35. Okay? All right, guys. Um, I hope this is a great start to topic three. Let us know if you have any questions. Your teachers are here and happy to help and want to help. Bye, everybody.